Hey y'all, this is Jen and I am doing my tassel for Tassel Tuesday for this week and I wanted to um, do the um, faux leather one I did last week but in different colors because I did have some requests um, for the tutorial. So this week I am using this really pretty multicolored glitter faux leather piece and then this kind of metallic platinum silver color. Um, you will need um, a template of some sort uh, for a bow. Um, I found this online for free. I can't remember where. It had a 5 inch, a 6 inch, and a 7 inch bow like this. And then this one I believe was a separate, but I can't remember. So I can, I'll try to find the ones I used. If not, um, you can just do a search on Google because that's what I did. Okay, so in addition to these four pieces that we're going to cut out, we're going to also um, need two other pieces for the actual tassel. Um, so you're going to need one piece, a four and a half inch by two and a half inch for the tassel, and then a different color to cover the top of the tassel that needs to be one and three quarter inches times a half an inch. Um, and so, give me one second, I just need to look at my tassel from last week because I couldn't remember something. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to use this piece for the tassel and then this piece for the top of the tassel as well as the bottom part of the bow and the top part of the bow and then this will be the middle part of the bow and that'll all make sense <laughs> once we start going. Okay, so I'm going to turn this upside down. It is um, lined on the back so I can kind of write on it so to measure my, um, my piece. So I'm going to measure, okay, so four and a half. And then two and a half. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cut to there. And then cut this piece. And there's that piece. And then the middle part of the bow, which is the bigger piece, I'm going to just cut out of here. If you feel comfortable um, doing it by hand, you can, or you can pin it. I'm going to pin it because this is kind of slippery and I don't want it to you're not going to be able to see it anyway. So usually I just cut that off and then we're going to be done with that piece so we'll put that to the side and then you just cut out and you can totally do this on a Cricut or a Silhouette or whatever but I just find it quicker to do it by hand. So that's what I do. You can do it whatever way. Sorry y'all, I don't think I was in frame. You can do it whatever way you wish. Okay, so there's the middle piece. I'm just going to put that to the side. There's that piece. And now we're going to take this piece and measure out the little piece that's going to go around. So the one and three quarter piece by half an inch. And again, I am just going to cut it like this. So it may not be perfectly straight. 
and then like that. So that's going to be the top of the tassel. And then we're going to flip this over. Oh, actually, I misspoke. I do need this this platinum color one more time to do the to do this piece. I forgot about this piece here. So let's just and this is the piece that goes um, around the the bow. And I do kind of leave a little bit of an outline, so I don't cut it exactly. But again, you can do it however you like. Okay, now back to this. What did I do with that little pin I had? There it is. So I'm just going to pin this up here. Cut this out. And then we're just going to also pin this one. And cut that out. I need to get some more faux leather sheets. I really like doing this. But I don't have a whole lot of variety. Sorry, I'm cutting this off camera. It's just easier for me. <laughs> there. So there's the little bow. Now this is the back of the bow. You could also do this in paper. It's the exact same um, and I do save these little pieces because you never know I could use it again for like a tassel top or something but you could totally do this with paper as well And really, you could do the bow, the top bow part with ribbon, too. I may do that one time and just switch it up. But since somebody wanted to see how this is done, I figured I would use the, the faux leather. up is we're going to take this piece here and I kind of see if I can find my bone folder there it is I kind of like to make a little line like about that far up to like cut so like maybe like it's kind of like an imaginary line, like like a quarter of an inch or an eighth of an inch from the top. And I do that because like that's how far I cut. So you're going to cut your little strips up to about right there. And you don't have to do that. I just think it looks cleaner when you wrap it. And then I just cut thin strips. It just doesn't have to be perfect. You can do them bigger or smaller, however you want your tassel to look. Just gonna leave that they kind of got a little bit bigger as I went but that's okay okay so now what you're gonna do is turn it over and you're gonna take your glue gun and you're just gonna put a little bit come on I just put a new stick in here so it's taking a minute to get down in there there we go 
and you so you're going to do that and then you're just going to roll but you want to be careful don't burn yourself so you're just going to roll and I just put a little bit of glue like a little bit as I go like I don't do the whole oops I don't do the whole thing and I do use high temperature glue gun because it sticks better get off of there And I don't go too far ahead because it does tend to kind of dry fast. And I did that a little bit um, off center there. So a little bit of that is sticking up at the top. But I'll fix that when I, you won't be able to tell when I put the, the top on it. I'll do it up a little bit so you don't see it as much. So there's your tassel part. And then you're going to take the strip that you cut out um, to wrap it. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little bit of glue right there to start it. And you're just going to, and I forgot to put my, I did this last time too, I forgot to put my jump ring in. you're supposed to put one down here and one at the top so I'll show you how I'm gonna fix that and then I just take a little bit on here once it's started and just wrap be careful not to burn yourself I do have the silicone finger thingies from the Dollar Tree but I don't really think I'm gonna burn myself I didn't do that tight enough, or, yeah, I don't think I did that tight enough. I don't know. It's supposed to touch. Oh, I cut that a little off. Boo. Okay, y'all. I messed up. I cut that a little short. So, I'm going to cut another piece and wrap it around. So, it's going to have a double because I messed up. Boo. Let's see if any of this is long enough. Wide enough, I should say. I don't think so. Oh, good thing I did this, right? Let me see. Will this cover? No. Okay. So I'm not sure what I did wrong there because it was perfect. Like perfect on my other one. Okay, so let's do, let's just do two inches, and then that way, and a half an inch is still good, so I'm going to do two inches and then a half, which I think is right there anyway. Okay, so we're just going to use this whole piece here. Let me test it before <laughs> before I do it. Just make sure. Yep. Yeah, okay. That's going to be perfect. Okay. So we're going to start it right here to cover that. So I guess maybe do two inches <laughs> instead of one and three quarters. Sorry about that. Root my measurements down wrong, I guess. And then I'm just going to go on here again. And I will write these um, instructions in the description box for y'all. Alright, so you want to make sure that dries. Okay, so I was supposed to put a uh, thing there, but I didn't. So, 
what I did last time is I grabbed a eye pin. And I'm just going to do that again. I'm going to get one of these eye pins. So I'm going to stick one of these down in there, if it'll go, it might not go down in there because of the glue. Sorry about that little pause. I wanted to cut this so that the, the, the long part wasn't sticking out through the bottom. So I'm just going to put some glue in there and then I'm going to stick this down in there. And just let that dry. And while that's hardening, we'll go ahead and do the bow. For this, um, we are going to take the glue gun and what I do is I usually just put a little bit of glue right here and then fold the one end down and just hold it. And then I will take some glue on the other side and then pull this end down. So you're going to do that. That's going to be this piece and we're going to glue that there. And then we're going to do the same thing with this piece. So now we're going to take some glue and put it on the back here and stick it down in the center here of this bottom bow. And then you're going to do the same on the smaller bow. Put a little bit of glue down. And then put that down on the center there. And if you need to fluff your bows out, you can. Sorry, y'all. My dog's trying to get in here. But if you need to fluff your bows, you can stick something in there and just fluff them up. So then what we're going to do, you're going to put one jump ring on that end. Oh my goodness, my dog is crazy. And one jump ring on this end. And you want to make sure when you before you glue it that the the part that you open is facing the right way. So basically how I do this is I lay it on top there and make sure that the jump rings are in the right position before I glue it and then I flip it over to glue 
So once I know that the, the jump rings are where I want them, I'm just going to put a little bit of the glue on the end there. And then I'm going to put that down there like that. And then this piece is just going to overlap. So we're going to put a little bit of glue there. And then just hold that down till it dries. So this way you can attach one end to your tassel and then you have an end to put a lobster clasp or um, a bulb pin or whatever you want to put on it, ribbon, however you want to, um, whatever you choose to do to hang it, that's where you can, where you'll do it from. Okay, and so now I'm going to take my needle nose pliers and then these pliers and, op and open the jump ring. So we can put it on the little, and I hope it'll fit. I just realized this is a bigger jump ring than what I normally use. So I don't know if it's going to go on there. Let's hope. is is that doesn't come off super easily so and then I'm just gonna move that around that open part so that that doesn't fall off so there you are and you can put anything you want on there like I said you could put a um just trying to lay funny there we go And if you wanted to, you could even hang a charm from there or whatever. So I hope that this was easy enough to understand. I hope you guys like this tassel. I think it's really pretty. I think it's kind of a combination of Christmas and New Year's. <laughs> and um, if you have any questions, just leave them below and I will answer them if I can. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, y'all.